Hello guys and welcome back to Hey Manager with me Alex and today an interesting video that I'm going to do the start of many transferred players and a few different other things for Fantasy Premier League so this is transfers number one this is breaking news so <laughs> that was a nice introduction there so the first player we're going to go with anyway he's joined Aston Villa from Norwich City last season it's Emmy Buendia the man has signed for 35 million pound I believe which I think is a fantastic little sign in Grealish on the left hand side Buendia through the middle or slash on the right hand side Watkins up from maybe a midfield pivot of Douglas Luiz and McGinn who knows but it's going to be an interesting year for Aston Villa with Buendia. Buendia he played 39 games last year in the Championship. Uh, like 112th, joint 112th there. So a lot of games played. They only missed out on seven games. And 15 goals, 15 assists. He finished top in the assist charts. And joint 7th in the goals charts. He scores some amazing goals. He's very, very technical. Really good at on the ball. Um, a clever little player as well. And also, what interesting... What impressed me about him is the amount of pressures and tackles he does. He does like to press, he gets back, he does he does commit his all on the pitch, which is fantastic for an Aston Villa player, because you do have a lot of players like McGinn and Douglas Luis and um who's the other one? Grealish, for example, excuse me, who like to press, Ollie Watkins presses as well. It looks looking like the Aston Villa are building a very impressive side, I have to say. Um key passes and shots created creating actions. They're not a stat at the moment on FB Ref for Championship, but the key passes, it sort of speaks for itself when he gets 15 assists. That is an incredibly influential player, and he's back in the Premier League. Linked with Arsenal a lot last year, but nothing really happened in, in, accord, in accordance to like that transfer. I think they're sticking with Emil Smith-Rowe, who we've seen sign a long-term contract. But Aston Villa landing the man. Is he a Grealish replacement? I don't think so, I think. This season, they're going to hold on to Jack Grealish, have Buendia alongside him, and they're going to try and strengthen that side through and through. It's going to be a very interesting few years for Aston Villa. So, six and a half million, I think he's a very good option to pick up. Grealish, he's looking at around about eight million this year, but Buendia, another player that we know is going to get goals, knows he's going to get assists. He could be a little, little dark horse in the fancy league world we then move on to Ibrahima Kanate the new centre-back for Liverpool he's had a bit of a shaky start in pre-season as he's been sent all sorts of ways by um, strikers in the pre-season friendlies but he's joined from Leipzig this this was announced back in March but I thought I might as well highlight this as one of the first transfer videos um, for the FPL stats he's five and a half million and it looks like he is going to couple uh, Van Dijk at the back. He's a signing that they've made. Whether or not he'll be there every single game, it would be an interesting one to see. Um, but 14 matches played, 10 tackles, 10 blocks, 41 clearances last year in the Bundesliga. Not fantastic stats, as you can see, but he didn't play that many games. It's a bit of a worry. He is very young. I think he's only 22, 23. Um, aerial battles won 75% of them, which is sixth in the league, only obviously playing 14 matches, but it's still impressive to register a percentage and actually get get in the top six of the Bundesliga. But Canate looks like he could develop into a pretty interesting little player. Five and a half million, is he worth it? I think there's better options out there. You look at Digne, who's five and a half million. Um, Cresswell got the most assists last season, he's five and a half million. Luke Shaw's five and a half million, we've seen that he's on fire at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, Ibrahima Kanate and what he can do. Um, but from, I don't think five and a half million is a, a reasonable amount of money to be spending on a, a, a Liverpool centre back who's probably going to start, but you never know. Mati, uh, not Mati. Um, Joe Gomez might be coming back. And once he comes back, I think it'll be Van Dyke, Joe Gomez, who is the partnership. So Kanate probably just a backup in essence. So it'll be interesting to see what happens and what materialises in the Liverpool defence. Then Enoch Mwepu, and I have to admit I've not really heard much of this man. Brighton, there was a lot of news coming out of uh, I think it's Zambia or Zambia, I can't remember which country he was from, but a lot of the news coming from his country that he's a striker when he's very much not. He's a midfielder. Um, 29 games played in the Austrian Bundesliga uh, RB Salzburg, obviously the, the, the Red Bull team. Um, one assist in those 29 games, 
40 interceptions though, a great tackler, he looks pretty impressive um, from what I've just like, I've done a little bit of research on him, looked at a few videos, he looks pretty impressive in that midfield, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say 6 million is something that you'd be spending on him, I think they've got a bit confused as to what type of player he is, he hasn't really contributed much, I think he's had eight, something along the lines of 86 to 89 games, 16 goals, 11 assists, or something along those lines. So he is a, he's pretty good going forward, but he's not very, very, um, how would you put it? We're not going to reap the rewards from this type of signing for 6 million. Bit of an interesting one. You're probably better going off with like a Basuma, who might um, prosper in a, this Brighton side this year, or Trossard. I don't know if Trossard's 6 million, but he's a decent shout. Players like Rafinha, who is 6.5 million, and Jack Harrison, you're looking at comparing him to them, who are both 6 million as, as well. I think Jack Harrison's a very underrated shout, by the way. But yeah, Mwepu, interesting one to go through. Uh, 6 million. Do I think he's good enough? Do I think he's good enough for that 6 million price tag? I don't think so. So Brighton, they've got a good little sign on their hands. He's, he's going to become like another Matic, not Matic. Like a, a box-to-box midfielder, but doesn't really get the goals in. Like a McTominay, sort of like that, where you're going to get a few goals, a few little assists here and there on the occasional game, but nothing absolutely monumental from Mwepu. But a decent signing on the list for Brighton. So there's the roundup for the transfers, number one. The next transfer video, probably probably you'll be looking at like a, I don't know, um, Sancho's and people like that that are just slow. I'm going to slowly catch up with all the decent rated transfers anyway. None, none of the other ones that like might be on the bench or whatever. Some proper proper transfers. And go through go through how you can budget to try and implement them into your sides and if they're worth it as well. So yeah, that's a summary of that video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.